Hi all. Today we're going to be doing an experiment. Yes, we're going to try attempt to make corned beef hash in the Ninja Foodie. I've never made corned beef hash before and I don't think I've ever even tasted it in my life, but people swear by it that it tastes delicious. So we're gonna give our hand or try our hand at making a corned beef hash in the Ninja Foodie. So to get this started, what we're going to do, your Ninja Foodie is on. We're going to select sear saute. We're going to leave it on high and hit start. We're going to go over our list of ingredients. And I don't want to make a large portion of this. This recipe can be doubled, tripled, quadrupled, whatever you have. Yesterday, I pressure cooked up a three pound corned beef and that's what it shrunk down to. So it's kind of a small amount. If we ate that yesterday, yeah, there would have been no leftovers. I also have some bacon fat. We're gonna cook the potatoes and onion in some bacon fat, which is yummy, yummy, yummy. Whenever you make bacon fat or make a pork belly, save the fat. It's excellent to work with. I'm also going to be using two russet potatoes, which we're going to cut in cube. We have a yellow onion. We're only gonna use maybe like a quarter to a half a cup of this, but we'll eyeball it when we start to see how much we have here. Also a little bit of garlic, maybe we're gonna use maybe half of that, probably like one clove of garlic. You're gonna need pepper and you're gonna need salt. I'm gonna start on this yellow onion. We're gonna make quick work of this. I'm just gonna put that one off to the side. I'm just gonna do a small dice with this. Once again, keep your hands out of the way. All right, some of these are bigger than others, but take what we can get. All right, so that's probably like a half a cup of onion. Just gonna push that off to the side. I am going to grab some of this bacon fat and put it into the Ninja Foodi. So you're gonna put in like two tablespoons of bacon fat. There we go, I'm gonna let that melt. Put that off to the side. Now on to the potatoes. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna try to cut these into cubes. Gonna do our best here. The potatoes tend to cook, even though I have that edge, it's, they still tend to stick. All right, so I'm gonna take these two good looking pieces here. Almost like we're making french fries, but we're not. Save that for another episode. Ooh, onions are getting to my eyes. And with these, I don't like to throw them out. I do toss them in. They're not as good looking as the regular cubed, but I am gonna put these into a little bit of cold water. The bacon fat's been warming up for quite some time. Onion flavors everything so beautifully. And hear that sizzle. We're gonna add a half a cup of a small diced onion. And we're just gonna let this sweat for like a minute. So we're gonna add a little bit of garlic here, like one clove of garlic. And you do not want this to burn. So I'm just gonna go ahead and shut the Ninja Foodi, not off, we're gonna hit stop. So the sear saute stops. So we're just gonna go ahead and add those potatoes. These are two russet cubed potatoes. And I just wanna coat this with all the, ah, oh, it smells so good in here already, holy mackerel. I just wanna coat all these potatoes. What we're also going to do is, we're gonna add some salt. I'm gonna make sure you add enough salt. We're just gonna add a half a teaspoon right now because the corned beef is going to be salty. Pepper, I always add my pepper. Maybe like a half a teaspoon of black pepper. 
Now what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and close the lid. We're going to select um, Aerocrisp. We're going to take it down to 350 and we're going to hit start. Automatically defaults to 20 minutes. You want to go back into the Ninja Foodi and stir these a few times. And you want these to be completely cooked as well as brown. Next we're going to go ahead and cube up this, um, we're going to cube up this corned beef. I don't want my hand in the way. I'm going to take some of this fat off and go like this. Now I'm just going to go ahead and see if we can cube this up nicely. Let's give it a try here. Cool. Actually comes out pretty good. Uh, let's stack these up. Cool, look at that. We have all different size cubes. This is probably around two cups of corned beef. And that's ready to go in there once the potatoes are done. So it's been around 10 minutes. We're just going to give these potatoes a stir. And we have 10 minutes, 10 minutes to go. 37 seconds left. These are looking really, really good. I am gonna take one of these out and give it a, a good old taste test. I'm just gonna lower the lid and let it keep cooking. I gotta let that guy cool. Let me just increase the time so we don't run out of time. Okay, tried that potato. Those potatoes are done. Now what we're gonna do is, we're gonna add the corned beef. Oh yeah, this looks really good. I'm just gonna add the rest of it. I know it's a lot, it's a lot of corned beef. Yeah, you could have gotten away with, like, with one more potato in here, but that's fine. I'm just gonna lower the lid and let this cook for a few more minutes because I want this corned beef warmed up. So I'm just gonna increase the time by five minutes. Okay, so it's been cooking for three minutes on air crisp. We're just gonna go ahead and pop the lid. This is done, this is gorgeous. Look at this. Ugh. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna take this out and we're gonna pour it into another dish. Go ahead and shut your Ninja Foodi off. You're gonna remove the bowl. Oh yeah, look at that. Beautiful. This is gorgeous. All right. Let me just put this off to the side. Now, this is a lot of meat for the potato. You could have thrown in an extra russet to extend this corned beef hash. And look at this fabulous dish. finished product. It looks amazing. It tastes amazing. I've already tried it. Um, you can serve this as a side or what I would probably do is cook a nice fried egg with a drippy drippy yolk. Put that on top. See my mouth's watering. <laughs> that would be fabulous. So let's just grab a whole big amount of this. I'm about to stab it here. This is really good. Um, I would definitely, definitely. Mm. This is really good. You can add more salt if you want to, but the corned beef is salty enough. It's very, very tasty. 
Um, but I would definitely probably serve this with that soft egg on top, which I might get around and do right now. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, follow me on social media, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook group. The Facebook group has been growing by leaps and bounds. Thanks, everybody. We're posting what we make over there and also like some trial recipes that probably will never make it into a video, but you'll find them over there. So. That's good.